even elite athletes need support to reach their goals, to go further than those before, and to leave sport better for those after. Athletes Can represents members of Canada's senior national teams who compete at multi-sport and world championship events. Our mission is to speak with one powerful voice to advocate for an athlete-centered sports system where athlete rights are respected, athlete concerns are heard and acted upon, and where athletes influence key decisions made in Canada's sports system. We develop athlete leaders who influence sport policy and inspire a strong sport culture. We're a safe and inclusive place to share your perspectives and concerns on the issues you care about. And together, we initiate and sustain changes. We were the first organization founded by national team athletes for athletes. We've been global leaders in athlete representation ever since. Join Athletes Can. This is your home. Même les athlètes élites ont besoin de soutien pour atteindre leur but, pour aller plus loin que ceux et celles avant eux et pour laisser un sport meilleur à ceux et celles qui les suivront. Athlète Cannes représente les membres des équipes nationales seniors du Canada qui participent aux manifestations multisports et championnats du monde. Nous avons pour mission de parler d'une seule voix puissante en faveur d'un système sportif centré sur l'athlète, où les droits des athlètes sont respectés, où les préoccupations des athlètes sont entendues et prises en compte, et où les athlètes ont une influence sur les décisions clés qui sont prises dans le milieu sportif du Canada. Nous formons des athlètes leaders qui influencent les politiques du sport et inspire une solide culture sportive. Nous offrons un endroit sécuritaire et inclusif pour partager vos points de vue et préoccupations sur les questions qui vous tiennent à cœur. Et ensemble, nous suscitons et réalisons des changements. Nous avons été le premier organisme fondé par les athlètes des équipes nationales pour les athlètes. Depuis, nous avons toujours été des leaders mondiaux en matière de représentation des athlètes. Joignez-vous à Athlète Cannes. Vous y êtes. Chez vous. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the live coverage of the national team trials here in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Um, we're very excited to welcome you to Lake Bannock. Um, I'll be your host this morning, and tomorrow we'll have the, the chance to have Laurence uh, Vincent Lapointe joining us for the broadcast. But this morning we have an exciting um, para kayak 200 meter final with two great athletes that will be lining up over 200 meters. You have a nice shot here of Lake Bannock. Um, nice weather this morning, four degrees, a bit cold, but feels like two. Uh, probably a bit colder than that on the water. Um, winds from the north at nine kilometers an hour with small gusts up to 14. So um, very excited race this morning um, with Gabriel and, and Stefan who will line up and, and, and compete for their first selection of the year here in, in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Um, for the rest of the day, we'll have a few heats um, in the women's canoe, men's canoe, uh, men's kayak and women's kayak, um, followed by semis a little bit later. And then at 9.40, we'll have the para, the para 200 meter final. Um, so we'll be back for broadcast with that. But you can see the athletes just lining up here um, in, the, in their KLs. Um, two athletes racing this morning right in the start system. So we're almost ready to go here and kick things off for the racing season of the 2022 um, um, racing season, basically. Um, this is the same site where the World Championships and the Para World Championships are going to be held this year, so it's exciting for these athletes to be the first on the course. And here we go, great start here uh, by Gabriel, just really hammering through. You can see a lot of progression since last year, just a lot of good turnover and a lot more connections. So it's, that's kudos to all the work that he would have done all over the winter. And Stefan here, just keeping the rate high, just continuing to keep a lot of pressure on the blade that it needs. Um, so the quick, nice shot here from the front, though we might get a security boat in the way, but really nice from these athletes as we can see panning through the finish line. Um, again, these athletes are, are racing in, in, in KL together. Um, I, I'd have to look back to make sure which categories they're all in, but uh, I'll have that before the rest of the weekend, and then we can see the finish here. And nice shot from, from Gabriel just closing here. And Stefan just coming a little bit behind, trying to fend off the waves that are coming through. But great race to kick off these trials this morning um, from those two athletes, really showing the efforts and the progression they've made all through the winter. 
a nice shot here from the athletes you see totally spent um, at the end of this 200 meters. So what a, what a great way to kick off um, this season. As I said, this will be the site of the 2022 um, World Championships. Um, so you have a, a bit of a taste here of what, of what uh, a competition will look like if you've never been to, to Lake Bannock in Dartmouth. Um, so for the rest of the day, we'll have two heats of women's canoe um, 200, followed by uh, two heats of men's C1000, and then four heats of men's K1000, and then four heats of women's K1500. Um, and again, those are all the Olympic distances, so really important way to start the season for everyone. And then after that, we'll come back with a final. So the broadcast will come back on just before 9.40 Atlantic time um, for the par the Paraba um, 200 meter final. But really nice shot here of the athletes heading towards boat control, making sure that everything was good. Um, boats are on weight, um, everyone's ready to go. And then uh, we're seeing some of the athletes getting ready for their, their first heat of the women's canoe as well um, in the background. So. Congrats to those two athletes this morning. Um, we will be back in about an hour and a half um, to, to get, start streaming that second para race. Um, but we'll bring you the results uh, when those are available and when they come out. Um, and if they don't come out before we close this broadcast, we'll just bring them to you um, as we go live for the second race. There you go, you can see a nice slow-mo shot here of Gabriel just shooting at the bow of his boat of his finishing up the race um, to really get that extra little inch. And Stefan here just continuing to keep pressure on and really driving all the way through. And the line's actually a little bit before. You could see that yellow um, kind of marker at the back end. Um, that's aligned with the tower. And that's where the, the race actually finishes. The, the, the white buoys are just a little bit of a marker for the athletes to know where to stop. But you can see the wind starting to pick up already, so uh, so it, it should be an interesting day out there. Racing in May in Nova Scotia is always a bit oh, iffy, so uh, it'll be good to see what the athletes can do. But we'll be back around 9, 9.30, 9.40 Atlantic time. Thanks, everyone, for joining us this morning. The song our paddles sing in the stillness tells the story of a country. It's a song born here that echoes through history. A note to distance, the unknown. We sweat, burn, push, and fight, not for money, glory or accolades because it reminds us of who we are. Screw loose daredevils and romantic obsessives, most ourselves and the rage and the whip and the whirl or the reflective silence before the gun goes.